clicker is not working now, so let's welcome the human clicker. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Now, can anyone tell me what is in my head? Paper. Yes, it's a... Yeah. Paper. <laughs> What's in your head? It's a simple piece of paper. And how about now, let's give it a name. Any suggestions? Thank you, Susie. <laughs> a little bit short one. Thank you. What paper? Let's call it Um. Let's call it Claire. How dare you use my name? <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it Claire Junior. <laughs> Okay, Claire Junior and short form, short form CJ. Okay. Now, now this paper have a name. It's Claire Junior CJ. And how do you feel when I do this? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> she's gone. She walked out already. Close the door. Yeah. How do you feel? It feels like the sound of me tearing this piece of paper. Make us feel a little bit uncomfortable. Yes. It feels uh, like uh, it, there's something poking our heart okay. rapidly. And it's such a. It, it is so <laughs> amazing that. It is so amazing that a simple piece of paper can touch us. The loss of this simple piece of paper can make us feel something. How come? Now let me explain it by telling you the stories of a bottle. This is a bottle, my bottle. Firstly, firstly, when I was in high school, one day, I decided I need a bottle. I decided that I will I, I will go to the supermarket after school and buy a bottle. But it was so it was so unfortunate that it began to snow after school. And the situation became even worse because it began to snow with rain because of the awkward temperature of my hometown. But don't know how, don't know why, and I was a little bit Stupid, but brave and happy, and go to the supermarket anyway without an umbrella. And the result you can see I bought a bottle and I like it. And I was, my coat was wet and I was freezing cold, but I was happy. And every time I see this bottle, I remember of that journey, I remember the person I was. A stupid yet happy and great girl. This is because this bottle symbolizes ourselves. Ourselves. This bottle symbolizes me. Symbolizes symbolizes the brave and happy girl I was, and maybe I am. Uh, second story is that. <laughs> Thank you. This photo linked to my feelings during my high school. After make a few interesting friends, my photo will gone <laughs> during several class break and so many times when other people carry their bottle to get some water from from the water room, but what I did is searching for my bottle so many times. Yeah, this this kind of odd but interesting experience give me happiness. It represents my happiness during high school. Represent the happiness my friendship brought to me during my high school. So, just cannot leave it. The third story is that, hmm, let us count a little bit. High school until now, this bottle was with me for about five years. 
and other than the all these feelings of myself, it symbolizes or memory memorize me about. It also became person not uh, personalized human human life. It is not just a bottle. It is unique. I can never buy another bottle like this with a five year experience with me. And it is it has feelings. If I somehow drop it, it will feel hurt. It will cry silently. And every time I send this dent on my bottle, I will remember. Once upon a time, I drop it and it cry. And I feel hurt because it hurts. So it is very interesting that there are so many things in our life. They don't have feeling, they don't have feelings, they don't have life. But yet we cannot leave it. Because it meant so much to us, it already became part of our life. So maybe we just cannot leave it. So what? Thank you, that's the end of my speech. Okay. Uh, okay, I 